I haven't been in a fast food restaurant in literally like 10 years. I remember when I was a teenager and I was really into weightlifting, I was dirty bulking. I would go to McDonald's two or three times a week, stuff my face to gain weight. And now we're doing it a little bit healthier. I went to McDonald's, I went to Wendy's, and I made some homemade patties. We are going to compare the price point as well as the flavor of these patties. And most importantly, I'm gonna tell you guys how to order these patties because I was at Wendy's having a hard time trying to figure out how not to pay $5 for a single burger patty. So, uh, first of all, let's go over what we have here. So, at McDonald's, I bought a quarter pound patty for $1.25 and I bought two regular patties for $1.98. So I paid $3.47 at McDonald's for this, which to me, $3.47, that's a pretty good deal. I got like a pound of meat. At Wendy's, I paid, well, actually just four cents more. But at Wendy's, I got a junior hamburger with two extra patties. So at Wendy's, oh, they put the bread with it. Oh, they didn't, apparently they didn't listen. But I just got three patties. Just three patties like that with the bread. Oh, what are you gonna do? So, you know, comparison, McDonald's, you're probably getting a little bit more for your buck, but eh, not, not too much more, eh. And then here on this plate, I have uh, just two tiny grass-fed burgers that I made, and this cost me about $1.50. And if you buy grass-fed beef for like five, six dollars a pound, it's really gonna be hard to beat the price and taste of making it home but the purpose of this video is obviously you know if you were out and did not have access to home cooked beef we just have it side by side as a taste comparison so for someone try the regular mcdonald's patty i mean it looks like an of just a very well done you know not really too even of a sear on the patty it smells very seasoned I don't think they put salt and pepper on this. If they did, maybe just a little bit. It's okay. You know, just relatively bland uh, grain-fed beef. All right, so now I'm gonna try the quarter pounder patty from McDonald's. Uh, it looks a little better, much better sear. Still very well done on the inside. Way better seasoning on the quarter pounder patty. Uh, way better taste, way better flavor. I would never order the regular McDonald's patty unless you had to in this case. All right, so now, I'm gonna try the Wendy's patty. I mean, it looks better than the regular McDonald's patty, but not as good as the McDonald's quarter pounder. It's still very well done. It has a very classic, I mean, Wendy's flavor. Uh, let me see if I like, I'm not sure if I like the quarter pounder from McDonald's more or the Wendy's patty more, but I definitely like the regular Wendy's patty more than the McDonald's patty. The Wendy's patty definitely has a better beef flavor, but the McDonald's Quarter Pounder is seasoned a lot better. Let me try just the regular beef that I made myself, and this looks this looks exceptional. Obviously, you know you can't have a nice medium rare burger at McDonald's. The taste isn't even close. You know, I, I took this grass-fed beef, salt and pepper five minutes on each side in a pan, like, it's, it's not even close. This is like crazy, crazy good. So at McDonald's, you just ask them for the patties off the a la carte menu. Uh, you could ask them for just a regular burger patty, they ring it up as sausage, and a quarter pounder beef patty. And I would just get the quarter pounder beef patty every time. It tastes better, it's cheaper um, for the amount of meat you get. At Wendy's, it's a little tricky. At Wendy's, you have to order a junior hamburger, which is $1.29, and then you have to tell them to use the extra patty button and add as many patties as you want, which is 99 cents. You know, if you're stuck with these two as an option, you know, definitely go with either the McDonald's Quarter Pounder or the Wendy's Regular Burgers. If you want to save a little bit of money, the McDonald's Quarter Pounder is going to get you more food for your buck, but both of these seem pretty reliable. Maybe we'll try some other uh, fast food burgers. I don't know, but guys It's not even close to a homemade burger. It's not comparable Price wise, it's cheaper for me to make the grass-fed burger, too. So 
and that doesn't factor in the cheese. You know, the reason I didn't get cheese on these burgers is because the cheese from these places generally has additives like soy lecithin, whey powder, just milk powder, things you don't want in your cheese. Not only are there negative things in the cheese, there's also a lack of nutrients in the grain-fed beef. You know, this grass-fed beef has four to five times the amount of nutrients the grain-fed beef does, particular vitamins and fatty acids. In addition to that, if we did put cheese on these burgers, a raw cow cheese is gonna have far more nutrition than any of the cheeses that you get in any of these places. Maybe the Swiss cheese that you get might be a bit higher quality than the regular American cheese, but uh, I guess that's all I have for you guys. So, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, uh, this helps some of you guys out eating out on a carnivore diet. Uh, I personally just fast, so I don't really need to uh, go to fast food places. But uh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys would like to support the channel, please subscribe and share the video. If you guys want to check out my Patreon, I am offering Patreon-only videos to my subscribers on there now. If you guys do want to know maybe what salt and pepper I used on the burgers I made today, check out my Amazon shop. I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram, you guys can follow me there. If you guys want to reach out to me for one-on-one -on -one consultations, feel free to shoot me an email, frankatofano at gmail.com, or contact me through the form on my website in the description. But outside of that, again, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what videos you guys would like to see in the future.